When you're setting up your Starship It account, there are several important default settings to configure. In this tutorial, we'll run through what these options mean and how to get set up. To view your default options, go to Settings, then Options. The Import Weight unit tells Starship It what unit to use when importing your products. This is distinct from the Display Weight unit. For example, if I'm importing a 2kg order from my store, but I operate in pounds, I'll set my import weight unit to kilograms and my display weight unit to pounds. When my order is imported, Starship it will convert the weight and display it in pounds. Display weight unit and display size unit are global settings and carry across to other functions such as default boxes and rules. The default currency set here is applied when the currency isn't stated on an order. Display time zone will convert all times and dates shown in Starship It to the time zone set here. The default item description is used for customs where the item description isn't stated on an order and is an important setting for international shipping. Default item weight and price are used when creating manual shipments. To change the weight unit used here, set your display weight unit above, save and refresh the page. The HS code is a standardised coding system for traded goods which contains information about a product. Use this field to set a default HS code for every order. The country of manufacture field is the default applied when not stated on an order. Use the their ref values area to configure requirements for order references to be set within Starship It. You can add default references to the list and enforce only these references to be used. If you enforce this as a required field, it must be set within an order before it can be printed. The current manual order, our ref number, is used when creating a new manual order and is updated automatically as new orders are imported. You can use this field to override this and set a new value if required. Make sure you hit save to store your preferences. Check for links in the video description and visit our knowledge base for more helpful tips and tutorials.